What's up guys, obviously it's Gavin Obvious, and welcome to weekly update number 23 for Monday, April 30th, 2012. It's one day late, but who cares, because I'm still putting it out. Now, the reason it's one day late is because yesterday I had to post up the armor because I did not post up the armory on Saturday because I was sick. So I'm still posting up the weekly update, do not worry, I never forgot about it. I just took a day off, so I could get better. But today's gameplay is some AN94 Rush on Operation Metro. This gameplay did not make the cut for the armory because it was very slow. It was a slow game. It was very, you know, one kill, got 30 seconds and they got another kill. It wasn't really representing and being as much action-packed as I would like the armory to be. So that's why I'm doing some of this gameplay now. It is some great gameplay, actually. It's some great representation of how the AN-94 should be used in this game. I, I would have loved to use it in the armory, but like I said, it was not too action-packed. It was a little boring to watch for the armory. So I wanted to keep that away and put in some more high-quality action-packed gameplay. So here it is for you guys today. It was a 26-1 game. Great, great gameplay. I hope you guys enjoy it. But before I begin updating you guys on what's going on with my channel, I want to say one thing. There is a dual commentary I made with Culprit008 up on his channel as of right now. It went up this morning. I'll provide a link to you guys in the description. And it will be on the screen right now up in the left, right, wherever corner you want to put it. And uh, it was an awesome video. We talked about the Close Quarters DLC and Danya Fortress. So if you guys want to go check that video out, make sure you guys do. It was really awesome. And uh, Culprit's a good buddy of mine. We've been talking on Skype for a little bit. I contacted him a while ago about his DRMB video he posted up. And it was a really good job. So if you guys like the video, make sure you guys subscribe to him because he makes some great content, some tactics and stuff like that. It will be a great thing for him. And it will make me feel a lot better because he kind of did the same for me, giving me a little shout on his channel. So I'm going to do the same for him. So I hope you guys like the video that we made. It's about 25 minutes long. It was a good commentary. And if you guys like his content, make sure you subscribe. And there's one more thing, kind of, not update e, but sort of a sneak peek to what's coming soon. Uh, within this week, I have a special announcement from both me and Almost Evil 33 uh, Actually, as a matter of fact, I'm playing with him in this game right now, if you guys can look at him in my squad. But I have a special announcement coming from both of us later this week, and I can't tell you any details about it as of right now, but hopefully by the end of this week I can tell you guys all about it, because... It's going to be great, and I can't wait to tell you guys about it. So, there's a few things I want to talk to you guys mainly about in today's update. And the one thing I want to talk about is my console commentating thing. Now, my video is doing really well. It's actually still going strong. People are still coming to it. I actually got some other people, you know, sent some messages out, having to come over and check out the video. And it's actually going really well, and I'm really happy for that. Now, what I've been talking about with uh, a few of my YouTube friends and thinking about by myself is about... Some kind of events and, you know, things we can get the console guys involved in. Now, the PC guys have something known as Pub Stars, which is like a tournament, like weekly, monthly, whatever you want to call it. I don't know when it happens, but it's a tournament, like not really a tournament, but a fun competitive match that they have against each other. Where it's the big commentators on the PC side who play against each other in uh, Conquest, Rush, whatever you want to call it, on PC. Now, I want to kind of do something like that on Xbox and PS3. But not as competitive, but more on the fun side. I will make it enjoyable for everybody. And that's where I want you guys to come in. If you guys know any console commentator who has a good enough following, I'm not going to say, you know, it has to be above this amount of subscribers. But if I have active subscribers who would like to participate in this event, let them know about me. I want to get some guys going and I want to get a list going of people who may want to participate in an event like this. So if you guys can give me any names or send them messages and have them come to me, that would be great. I would love that. Now, I also want to have good personalities. And by good personalities, one, they have to have a good sense of humor. I don't want someone who's extremely serious who won't have, get any fun out of playing with the other console commentators. And this is going to sound really not uh, mean, but I want them to be of a, a maturity to actually handle something like this. I don't want to get a 13-year-old Battlefield commentator on here playing with all of us and not have the maturity or the capacity to be able to do it. I'm sorry if I insulted anybody, but I hope you guys can understand that it's not only for my sake, but it's for the entire community's sake. I don't want, one, to have a bad representation, and two, I don't want to have someone whose maturity level, like I've said, will not be able to handle something in this capacity. I I'm not trying to be mean. If I insulted you or any way, I apologize, but that's just how I feel about the situation. 
So I really hope within the next couple of weeks, maybe after a few things that are going on in the Battlefield community, I can get it up started. Started up. I, I worded that wrong. But hopefully I can get this thing started eventually. And I really want it to happen, if not you know, weekly, monthly, possibly. I want it to be uh, an annual, not annual, a monthly thing, weekly thing, to make it more enjoyable for both the community and the commentators. And I really think it would be a good thing to get everyone involved together to increase the both the, the communication and the experience of Battlefield 3 commentators on YouTube. And I think it'll be great. So that's pretty much it for that console commentating thing. And again, any suggestions, let me know as terms of commentators, players, anything like that would be great. Now, this past week was the premiere week of my two new series. I'm not going to say three because Battlefield 3 Tactical Analysis has yet to be released, which is kind of unfortunate. It's my fault that I never got it out, and I'll tell you guys why. Last Thursday was Take Your Kid to Work Day, and my dad is a, uh, he works for Merck. And what I wanted to do is go into his job and see the business world and see what it was all like. So that was last Thursday. I got home around 6.30, so I had no time to make Battlefield 3 tactical analysis. I apologize for that. This week, Thursday, it will be coming out. I, I can guarantee that. And it should be great. It's, it's going to be a good series. I can't wait to have it. But the Armory and the Breaking Down Battlefield 3 actually were really, really well received. I, I couldn't be more happy with the reception that these two series got. Uh, Breaking Down Battlefield 3, people loved it. They loved the intro for some reason. I love it too, but the intro is just amazing to some people. And the Armory is getting great reception. The first episode actually got around 1,300 views, which is awesome for me. And the other one, which I released a day ago, is actually at 600 right now. So that's really awesome. I thank you guys for all your support in these series. And hopefully Battlefield 3 Tactical Analysis will be coming out this Thursday, and I can almost guarantee that. Breaking Down Battlefield 3 will be coming out tomorrow. I'll be doing ballistics, which is the sights, scopes, iron sights, anything like that. Magnification levels, as a matter of fact, are not exactly what they say in-game. So that's kind of a sneak peek to what I'll be talking about in that video. And then this Thursday will be the Armory. No, not Thursday. Wednesday will be the Armory uh, AEK-971 and FAMAS. And then this weekend will be the G3A3 and the L85A2. So be looking forward to that those videos. And by... Wednesday of next week, I'll be done with the assault rifles and I'll move on to another class of weapons that you guys want me to do. And I want to make it good. So let me know, not not in this video, but at a later occasion, what you want me to cover next, because that will be great. Last week, I did sort of a teaser as to a huge event that could be happening to my channel. Now, <sighs> it, it didn't happen. I want, I want to tell you guys exactly what it was and uh, the the not only the unfortunate part, but the... I'm not, I'm just, let's just get right into it. I submitted a partnership application for a certain network. I'm not going to say who it is, but last Thursday, I submitted a partnership request for a big network for Battlefield 3. I asked for uh, a partnership and if they possibly could, a directorship. Now, I don't know if that would be possible for someone my size, but I would love to see it happen. I submitted, I was, you know, happy that was going to go through. I was like, yes, I want to get this partnership start. The one main thing actually before I continue with the story, and the reason I want a partnership is one for the thumbnails. I really want to put thumbnails on the armory and all my series to make them look as beautiful as possible. And the other thing I want to do is get that scheduled uploader. So if I'm at work, I can schedule a video to upload at, you know, three o'clock in the afternoon. I, I'm not about it for the money. They don't, don't think about that that way. I'm thinking about it of the quality of my channel. But back on with the story. So I submitted it. I was really happy it's going to go through. I was confident about its success. And then I read a tweet from one of their uh, people that they were actually really busy when I submitted the application. And it wouldn't, that the people who had submitted them, they would not be taken a look at. So that's highly unfortunate for me. And uh, he said that a good time to submit would be two weeks from then, which is about a week and a half from now. So No, two weeks from now. I'll, I'll submit about a week and a half from now. Hopefully something can happen. Maybe I'll ask again when a good time would be. But it was a partnership. It was a potential directorship. And I apologize to anybody who thought that it would actually happen. And I apologize to myself for being a little overhyped about it potentially happening. Now, that was the big news. People have been asking me in the comment section about that. And that's it. That's what was going to happen. 
and hopefully it'll happen within the two, next two weeks, and it would be a great thing for the quality of my channel. And as my final piece of information for you guys, it's regarding my PC. Now, I've been doing a lot of thinking lately, and since this console commentator recognition thing is actually picking up, I've been moving my eyes away from a gaming PC, and the reason for that is because I want to stick with the Battlefield console community. I don't want to take any of my time away from it, and that's making me want to buy a PC less. Now, you guys know that I'm a big Mac guy. I love it because of their editing power. The Macs have are one of the are actually the best computers out there to do editing on graphics, editing anything like that, because that's what they're made for. They're, they're Operating system can handle it better than Windows can, so that's what I'm really looking forward to because I'll be buying a better Mac than I currently have instead of a PC. Now, if you guys were, you know, thinking that, oh, he can get a PC to play with me, I apologize if you got any hopes of that. But honestly, the console is my home and the my Mac computer is what I love and I will love for the rest of my potential life. So that's what I'll be doing. I apologize again to anybody who thought otherwise, and that's pretty much it. Twitter, Facebook links are down in the description. Check out the dual commentary, and as always, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Now, just in case you guys missed it, here is yesterday's episode of the Armory. I covered th the burst assault rifles. That means the KH-2002, AN-94, and the M16A4. Great episode. Make sure you guys go check that video out. Twitter, Facebook, and if you guys have yet to, make sure you subscribe. Talk to you guys later.